Hello, everybody. We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so what it looks like to me is that something has come to your attention that like it may not be the most productive thing to have within your life like I was seeing the devil this can be like an awareness of something where you're like you know what when I check in I don't think that this is the healthiest thing I was also seeing the death card so this means you being in a space where you're like ready to make a necessary change something that may like change a lifestyle for you or change a big habit for you something that you feel you'd be impacted by but feeling like there's like clarity surrounded by this opportunity for you we are starting off with the Ten of Cups, so you may be feeling, like, really content or really happy about something, joyful, you may be, like, really practicing your gratitudes, wanting to be present, things going on with your, like, mental and emotional health may be more important. You could be really investing in things that bring you joy and happiness, things that you want to celebrate. The things that spark your energy, moving in the direction of those things. I'm hearing the name Jenna. Okay, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, the cup overflows. This can mean that there's somebody that you're connecting with that you feel is ideal. You could also be in a space where this is what you're trying to manifest as well. I'm seeing you be in a spot where, like, mental health-wise, you feel like you're in a good spot. You're feeling, like, centered. You're feeling grounded. This doesn't mean that you're not going to experience ups and downs some days, you know, like, emotions oscillate. But for the most part, you're doing things that, like, you feel at peace with, okay? Even if everything's not perfect, you know, because, like, when is it ever? But you're in a space where you're like, I feel gracious. And I feel like I'm in a good spot individually. Now to have this Ace of Cups here, there could be somebody that you're connecting with or somebody that you want to create a connection with. Ace of Cups is like, I'm in a space where I'm loving myself. Maybe I want to love another person. Maybe I want to connect with another person. This could also be you being in a space where you feel like really in touch with your abilities right now and you want to create because of this. This would be a space where you feel very inspired. It's like you feel really good within and you want to um, exhibit that externally. So you could be making something. You could be creating something. Wanting to participate in something. Wanting to talk to people that you have connections with. I'm seeing you be very particular with the way that you are speaking, the way that you're using your words, what it is that you're communicating. To have the magician next to the queen of swords. This is being very, very deliberate. Okay. Yeah, you definitely could be making something, creating something, but this can also mean, I'm getting confirmation of that, but this can also mean too that um, you may be in a space where, like it can be a project that you're creating, but it can also be something internally that you're creating. Because you're in a space here where you may be like filtering what you are introducing into your system energetically. Like, you may be mindful of your energetic intake, which can be, like, content. It can be, like, what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're listening to, who you're talking to, what those conversations look like, stuff like that. And this can also be a mindfulness of, like, what's going on internally? How are you speaking to yourself? What does that dialogue look like to you? Because I'm seeing this be something that needs to happen, this, like, filtration process. And this is part of you feeling like you're doing something for yourself where you're empowering yourself. This can also be you actively setting boundaries as well.
Okay. This is what I'm, I'm getting for right now. You are in a spot here where you're like, if this thing that is entering in that I have the opportunity to interact with, if this is not allowing me to feel empowered or if it's not bringing happiness to me, I'm not going to do it. So this is like really following that internal voice. If it doesn't feel like a connection, if it doesn't feel like intimacy, if it doesn't feel like authenticity, then I don't want it. If it's not sparking something for me, then I'm going to say like, no, thanks. I don't want to engage in that. I'm seeing like your voice be very, very powerful here. And I'm seeing you very mindfully be using it too. You're like, unless it's the Ace of Cups, I don't want it. Like unless it's something genuine, I don't want it. Because you know, it's like this. You know that if you take an opportunity that does not bring you happiness, you're actively pushing your happiness away. Because it's always going to be a push and a pull. In the past, you may have been more concerned with short-term solutions. I'm seeing long-term feel more important to you. I'm seeing consistency feel more important to you. This can mean too that if this has to do with relationships, maybe before you were like not so worried about consistency, not so worried about being able to build long-term with somebody, it may be something that's changing now. Like before you may have been going after things maybe more impulsively, or you had like a different system that you were using as far as what was attracting you and what wasn't attracting you. Something about that is changing now. Because you may feel like it gets, I don't know, like it gets in the way of your empowerment you could feel or that it like detracts from it. Because I'm seeing something change where before you may not have been thinking about like long-term consequences or you may have just been like, Oh, if something appeals to me, I'm just going to go in that direction without thinking about the rest of the things. But I'm seeing you have the opportunity to say no. This can be somebody coming through, but this can also be your own behavior as well. But I'm seeing that there's a change that's happening willingly. I'm seeing this be something where you're like, I don't want to conjure this up anymore into my life. Like, I don't want to do that dance anymore. You like want a different type of dance now. But it's going to take you setting boundaries. For some of you, this is definitely like certain people that come through that are like, hey, you want to hang out? Like, I'm trying to get together with you. That maybe before you had been, like, more accepting of or more like, yeah, okay, like, entertaining it. That may not be the case any longer. Queen of Swords is like, unless I feel like this is personally empowering to me, I'm not going to do it. So you may be turning down offers, wanting a different, like, more evolved type of offer to come through, but it's going to take you saying no to certain things that you don't feel like are on your level anymore or like not compatible with your values we can say or your desires you changing this up is going to really change things for you so this may be it may be hard because Knight of Wands can be like all of the impulses that, that come up within you that are very real, but that you may not be entertaining the way that you were before. Because I'm seeing definitely a change happen. But your body at first is going to be like, hey, like when these things used to come up and I used to want to be gratified, you would go along with it. And now that you're like changing what you're doing, it's going to be a little bit of a process. But I'm seeing that it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it for you. I'm seeing like immense, immense clarity that comes to you as you are changing this pattern of behavior. This means also standing your ground too. This is going to have an effect on your relationships. There's going to be like an equalizing energy that's connected with like your mind and also your heart, how you weigh situations and just like your relationships in general to have Libra here. In a way that you feel good about, in a way that you feel happy about. So if you felt like you were, um, 
I'm hearing belonging, which is an interesting word to come up. If you felt like you were um, in relationships before or entertaining or participating in relationships where you were like, the composure is off. Like, the cadence is off within this relationship. There are certain things that I like. There are certain things that I really don't like. You're moving to a space where there's going to be more of a sense of balance because of the changes that you are making and because you're not going for things out of convenience any longer, which may have been like more of what you were leaning into before, which is okay. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that you have like a different agenda now. And so what you're going to see coming through for you is going to be like of a different grade, we can say. It's like a different vibration. This means too that if anything does not feel reciprocal for you in the way that you need it to be, like, meaning if you're not feeling valued in the way that you want to be, you're going to have to let go of certain things. But I'm seeing this may be a really difficult part for you. Because you may keep things around that you don't feel particularly valued in and be like, but if I let go of this, what if nothing else comes in? You know, like all the things that we tell ourselves. So I'm seeing that's kind of like the next leg. It's like a spring cleaning of whatever you're entertaining right now or maintaining or participating in that is not aligned with your values. Meaning... Any relationships that you are within right now, if you feel like you're not being like treated how you want to be treated, that it's constantly failing to meet your expectations, things like that, there's going to be a loosening of your grip that's happening. Okay? All right, so we are looking at... I'm hearing Jupiter, Jupiter rules Sag. I'm looking at um, Venus, Libra, Mercury, and Scorpio. I'm also hearing Taurus, and I'm seeing the sun on the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.